For a global company such as Kim China, our subsidiaries are doing business in over more than 100 countries and areas, and there are many international payments every day. We have cases that the payment arrived at the beneficiary's accounts were less than the amount, the original amount, even though we chose our in the instructions. Another example. We have cases that the beneficiaries reclaim non-receipt of fund. Well, we can't provide payment evidence other than the instruction to our banks. GPI is great to allow treasuries have the transparency for bank fees and proof of payments, which are all very helpful for helpful treasury to better deal with the beneficiaries' claims. To track international payments is very helpful for our business, especially for some critical payments. For example, our overseas subsidiaries need to repay their syndication loan or bonds sometimes. The repayment date is strictly decided in loan or bond contracts. So any delay will cause penalty. As our payment banks cannot let us know exactly where the payment is and the payment status. We have to arrange the payments several days before the deadline in order to leave redundant time buffer with high costs. Rejections are very expensive because time and, and costs taken before and after rejections. We think the best way to save the high expenses is to reduce the rejection as much as possible in the first place. We need to work with subsidiaries and try to make, make sure the payment information is complete and accurate. And at the same time, the new innovation such as GPI is powerful to pre-check the payment information with built-in database before we send, we send the information out. Among GPI functions and features, tracking of payment speed and predictability, transparency of fee and uh, remittance data are all important to business. By adopting Swift GPI, corporate treasury will get more benefits in different aspects. We think a SWIFT GPI will greatly support our global treasury strategy and cross-region business.